Welcome back, everyone, we are diving deeper into the world of superheroes, and today, we're continuing our comparative analysis of superheroes but this time with a matchup between two iconic figures, Spider-Man and Wolverine. Both of these heroes are wildly popular, but they are very different in their abilities, personalities, and approaches to fighting. So, let's break it down, their abilities, psychological traits, and finally, who would come out on top in an all-out battle. Spider-Man's abilities, let's start with everyone's favorite web-slinger, Spider-Man. Peter Parker, after being bitten by a radioactive spider, gained several superhuman abilities. Super strength and agility. While not on the level of powerhouses like the Hulk, Spider-Man has incredible strength. He can lift up to 10 tons, leap great distances, and his agility is off the charts. His reflexes and speed give him an edge in close combat and when dodging enemy attacks, spider sense. Perhaps Spider-Man's most famous ability is his spider sense, a heightened danger detection system. It warns him of imminent threats, allowing him to react before an attack even occurs. This sixth sense gives him a significant tactical advantage in almost any confrontation. While crawling, Another key ability is his ability to stick to surfaces, allowing him to climb and move along walls or ceilings with ease. This adds to his versatility and unpredictability in fights, letting him launch attacks from unexpected angles. Web shooting. Spider-Man uses web shooters that allow him to swing between buildings, trap opponents, disarm enemies, or create protective barriers. His webs are strong, flexible, and can be used in countless creative ways in battle. Genius level intellect, though often underappreciated, Peter Parker is also a scientific genius. His intelligence allows him to invent new gadgets and strategies to take on opponents far more powerful than himself. Wolverine's abilities. Now let's switch gears and talk about Wolverine, the ferocious fighter from the X-Men, also known as Logan. Healing factor. Wolverine's defining ability is his regenerative healing factor. This allows him to recover from virtually any wound in minutes or even seconds. Bullet wounds, stabbings, or even more severe injuries like broken bones heal rapidly, making him nearly impossible to kill through conventional means. Adamantium claws and skeleton. Logan's claws are his signature weapon. Coated in virtually indestructible adamantium, his claws can slice through almost anything from steel to bone. His entire skeleton is also coated in adamantium, making him incredibly durable and resistant to damage. Enhanced Senses and Reflexes Wolverine possesses heightened senses, including an acute sense of smell, hearing, and vision. This makes him a highly effective tracker and allows him to detect enemies before they even get close. His reflexes are fast enough to keep pace with most superhuman foes. Superhuman Strength and Endurance while not as strong as Spider-Man, Wolverine's strength still surpasses that of any human. His endurance, combined with his healing factor, means he can keep fighting long after most would be incapacitated. Berserker Rage, in battle, Wolverine can tap into a primal rage known as Berserker Mode. When in this state, he becomes an unstoppable force, with heightened aggression and strength. Before we dive into today's superhero comparison, we at www.derosentertainmentstore.com are excited to offer you our Halloween Jack-O-Lantern unisex heavy blend crewneck sweatshirt for just $42.53. It's the perfect addition to your fall wardrobe as we gear up for Halloween. Don't forget to check the description box just below this YouTube video to find the link to grab your sweatshirt. Now, let's get into the action with Spider-Man and Wolverine. Psychological Analysis, Spider-Man. Now let's take a moment to dive into the psychology of these two heroes, starting with Spider-Man. Spider-Man is defined by a deep sense of responsibility. The mantra with great power comes great responsibility drives Peter Parker's actions, and he always seeks to protect the innocent, often at the cost of his own happiness. He's a moral hero, deeply empathetic, and carries the weight of his powers with a sense of duty. His youthful optimism is also a defining trait, Despite facing great tragedies like the death of Uncle Ben or the loss of loved ones he maintains a hopeful outlook. This mindset often makes him relatable to fans and keeps him motivated to find non-lethal solutions in his battles. Psychological Analysis Wolverine Wolverine, in contrast, is a far darker character. 
Logan is haunted by his violent past, much of which he doesn't even fully remember due to amnesia from his many traumatic experiences, his long life. Due to his healing factor has seen him endure countless battles, wars, and personal losses. As a result, Wolverine is often emotionally distant and reluctant to form close relationships. He is a classic lone wolf, prone to anger, but he also has a deep sense of honor, even if it means using lethal force. Wolverine doesn't have the same moral restrictions as Spider-Man he's willing to kill if necessary, which gives him a ruthless edge. At his core, Wolverine is a man trying to reconcile his animalistic instincts with his desire to be a good person, a hero. His internal battle between violence and humanity defines much of his psychology. Who would win in a fight? Alright, now let's talk about what everyone is waiting for. Who would win in a fight between Spider-Man and Wolverine? In a battle between Spider-Man and Wolverine, the fight would be close. Spider-Man's agility, intellect, and web-shooting abilities give him the upper hand in the early stages of the battle. He would be able to keep his distance and avoid Wolverine's attacks, even setting traps to slow him down. However, Wolverine's healing factor and durability mean that any damage Spider-Man inflicts would be short-lived. If Wolverine manages to close the distance, he could easily overpower Spider-Man in a brutal close combat fight with his claws. Ultimately, who wins would depend on the circumstances of the fight. In a non-lethal, strategic battle, Spider-Man would likely find a way to incapacitate Wolverine, but in a no-holds-barred, life-or-death fight, Wolverine's ruthlessness and relentlessness would give him the edge, especially if he could corner Spider-Man and unleash his full fury. So, what do you think? Would Spider-Man's brains and agility outlast Wolverine's claws and berserker rage? Let us know in the comments who you think would win. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more superhero breakdowns.